the mic, right? Um, again, thank you very much. My name is Isaac Barone. Thank you for, for the very good um, uh, build-up. It's going to be really tough to follow uh, follow up on that act, right? <laughs> Most definitely, it's a very tough act to follow. Thank you very much for everyone for being here, and, and I, I feel deeply honored to be invited. Uh, Loretta, thank you very much. Um, I could probably go on for a long time. Um, I've been in ed education now for the better part of the two decades, and um, I'll tell you what. Uh, I the stories uh, I can tell you uh, when it comes to uh, to Im immigration and how it affects uh, uh, our education. It's myriad. Uh, I don't have. I, we really don't have time for that. I'm uh, an immigrant son, and um, again, uh, no normally May is a very difficult time for me because I have uh, all, all these young men and women who are extremely talented. Uh, they're hardworking and they want to be part of a society. And time and time again, uh, I, 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 uh, when they come to uh, come up with, me with tears in their eyes, knowing that they're going to be excluded from the very thing that uh, that we uh, strive for in our American dream, it's a very difficult thing. I'm extremely happy that the president, of course, you know, I, uh, he had the courage to give us deferred action a little bit over a year ago, right? And I thank him here. And I, I and last time I saw him last year, I thanked him profusely for that. But it was only a stopgap measure, obviously. Okay, um, he had the courage that our Congress, uh, collectively, did not have the courage to do, and that is to, to step up for Americans. Okay, now people will say, "No, uh, these immigrants are not Americans." What is an American? Is an American something that you get? Uh, it's a piece of paper that you're born with, or is it something that you earn? In our country, we believe that you have to earn your place. Well, I can tell you very wholeheartedly, we have lots of Nevadans here who they may not be, they may not have been born with a certain paper that says that they should be here, but their heart is with us. They want to make our community better. They want to make their state better. And they want to make their, 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 their life for their families better. And they're being excluded. If I had a chance to speak to, uh, to General, to Congressman Heck, I would ask him, everything else aside, I would ask him to speak up for his fellow Nevadans, his Nevadans who, have, who uh, right now don't even have a chance to earn that opportunity to be called uh, Americans, only because of, of where they're born. He's a general. He earned his way to be a general. All these people that we're asking for, well, they're just asking for that, that opportunity to also to earn the way to be a full American. All I would ask him to do is to stand up for his fellow Nevadans and to, uh, and to also show the same courage that, he sh that he's shown in the military to stand up to people in his own party, in, uh, in Congress there, and to advocate for, uh, for our Nevadans. I thank you very much, and you'll always know that my heart will be with Nevadans. Thank you very much and have a beautiful day. Thank you. Thank you.